I got a new stack from SpeedyB that I want to install on a new drone and test it out. I'm very excited because SpeedyB has been doing very nice stacks lately, which mostly are becoming popular because of the price. This is the mini version of the stack. The F4 has been selling like, like crazy. Again, it's very good stack. The quality of the build is really good. The pads are well thought, the diagram or the, the position of the things are well thought and people are finding it very interesting. So I wanted to give a try to this one, the new one, the mini. Very similar packing as any other that they have. And the quality of this unit seems to be on par with what we saw on the of F4. So today I'm going to take this spare frame that I have for the Diaton L4, or maybe it's L3, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to install that stack here together with some um, iFlight 4004 motors that we have. And of course, I'm going to be using Voxnail as the VTX and my ExpressLRS as my receiver. So let's put all this together. It should be a quite simple build because this frame is quite simple. And then we can test this new drone and this new stack. Come with me and let's see what we do. One of the most difficult parts when building something like this is the hardware. And I'm very happy that SpeedyB is including both M2s and M3 screws, especially these M2 long ones here because those ones are difficult to find. And um, you have some extra good amount here to build your drone. Very good from SpeedyB. I always like to start with the power cable. So in this case, I'm going to put my, my power cable like this uh, going up. So when I have the frame, I can put it on the back and the VTX is still there in the back with enough space. Second step will be to add the motors. Again, working first on the ESC and then the VTX and then the flight controller. This is one critical step. Remember, especially if you're using like a second hand frame or something, the screw that you're gonna use here, you have to make sure that it never comes to the wiring. Otherwise you're gonna have a short circuit and it's gonna be problematic, right? So here you see, I, I had to choose something that is just there, but it doesn't come through. In my case, six millimeter was enough. Okay, now the four motors are in place, just to cut the right distance and start soldering.
on the motor saw solder I have to put some tape here something to beautify it but I think it's going pretty well I like using this tape that is called sometimes like clothes tape or I don't know Emacs and GPRC they use it quite often Okay, nice, looking good. Let's go with the VTX now. Well, I should have thought about this before starting, but this frame is quite old, which means that it's not made for walks now. I actually, I thought that I checked the, the, the whole patterns, but it didn't, didn't fit, which means that I'm sticking it with some double side tape and I'm gonna add a couple of zip ties in both directions, this way and this way, just to, to hold it. I might use the holes and get a zip tie to the holes inside, but this is not gonna be a freestyle drone. This is gonna be like an explorer drone, so this will work. So this was the idea that I was talking about. If you see, I just put a zip tie here and here, and I drive them through these holes here, so the, the double side tape keeps it in place, but the zip ties make it so it won't fly away. Here's another detail of this uh, stack that I'm liking quite a lot. You can see the, the names of the pads are here, so I don't even have to look for the diagram. I'm gonna feed the, the VTX with nine volts and have a nine volts pad here, ground, and then I just select the TX and RX close by and I'm ready with this. It's gonna be very easy. thing to do is to solder the express LRS this again TX to RX RX to TX nothing complicated 5 volts Well, everything is soldered now. Let's test for short circuits and connect it to better flight to see if it works. Thank you. 
now it's finished nice three inches with the speedy b stack that i got the mini version i have to say that it's very easy to work with this this uh, stack it has a lot of uarts enough to connect my gps and everything else that i have the vtx and the receiver no problem good places where to do it uh, the soldering pads are big enough thinking that this is a mini card really cool i'm very happy with it and as i said before it has as been speedy b has included the speedy b app which allows you to control everything from your phone if you are in the field or anything like that which is super super useful you don't have to think about bringing a laptop to the field you just take your phone out you play with it you configure if you are doing p tuning or something it's much easier to just use your phone that way instead of having to have a big laptop or connected to the computer pretty cool very happy with this um, stack i'm very happy with the results of this little drone i'm gonna go and fly a little bit and test it this is what i have for you today thank you for watching and see you soon